so tired of hearing your music out of those gosh darn headphones. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our awesome audiophile content. And hit the cute little bell to be notified when we post new videos. Have you heard of the wife acceptance factor? No, it has nothing to do with accepting your wife. Although, I do recommend that you accept her. The wife acceptance factor refers to how well she will tolerate your audio hobby and the gear that comes with it. Yes, there's a stereotype that men are interested in audio gear and women concern themselves with how the gear fits with the home decor and the bank account. It goes on to say the female in a relationship will consider her partner's audio gear to be space hogging superfluousness. Now, I'm not here to perpetuate stereotypes. After all, I am a woman. So let's just have a little fun here and talk about choosing headphones and associated gear that will exist in harmony with your partner and your living space. Now, headphones aren't necessarily going to generate the same type of domestic angst as say, oversized loudspeakers or a tangled web of audio cables that might not exactly fit with the style or layout of your living room. Still, with wife acceptance factor on the brain, Moon Audio customers often ask, how do I choose headphones that won't bother my wife? Tip number one, choose closed back headphones. When thinking about the annoyance factor of your headphones, you need to think about sound bleed or the amount of sound that may be audible to people in your vicinity. Nothing will annoy your partner faster than loud music escaping from open back headphones while they are trying to read, watch TV, or sleep. Closed back and open back refer to the permeability of the ear cups. Ross, can I see those for a sec? Open back headphones allow air to pass through their ear cups from the rear of the driver. On an open back headphone, the outside of the ear cup will appear to have a screen or a shade allowing you to have a glimpse inside. Because of their open nature, open back headphones will leak sound. Closed back headphones are completely sealed around the back, only allowing sound out where it can reach your ear. On a closed back headphone, the ear cup will appear solid, or in the case of, say, the Focal Stelia, there are holes uh, on the grill that are overlaying a solid ear cup. Even if you like to listen at high volumes, which we don't necessarily recommend because we want you to preserve your hearing, closed back headphones will do a good job of keeping sound leakage to a minimum. As a bonus for the listener, closed back headphones offer better sound isolation, meaning they let in less ambient noise. Each headphone type has its advantages. Closed back headphones generally offer a more intimate sound stage with better bass, while open back headphones will give you a wider sound stage and a more open and airy sound. You can read more in our guide on closed back versus open back headphones, which we've linked below. Now, there are exceptions. Meze open back headphones, the Empyrean and the Elite, for example, tend to bleed less sound than other open back headphones. And the Grado GS1000E, while open back, is great for low level listening, meaning you don't need to turn the volume up very high, which means less of a risk of sound bleed. Meanwhile, the thinner cups on the closed back Hi-Fi Man R10P and Hi-Fi Man R10D closed back headphones do allow some sound to leak. So choosing a closed back headphone is a general guideline. You can always reach out to us if you need more details on a particular headphone. Now you've got your pick of sound signatures when looking at closed back headphones. Here are just a few that we recommend. If you're looking for a warm sound, check out the Meze Lyric. If you prefer a more neutral linear sound, the Fostex TH900 Mark II is a great choice. For a more analytical sound with lots of detail, you could look at the Focal Stelia. And finally, we don't have it here, but the Ultrasone Edition 8 EX is a great choice if you want a closed back with a more forward sound. Tip number two, 
Consider IEMs instead of full-size headphones. If your partner says they want to see your head and not your headphones, take a look at in-ear monitors, which you might know as earphones. Originally designed as monitors for professional musicians and recording engineers, IEMs have gained appeal among audiophiles, offering sound quality that rivals their full-size counterparts. IEMs sit in your ear canal, offering a snug fit and intimate presentation. Many IEMs are available as custom models, meaning they are specially crafted for your unique ear canal shape. To obtain a custom IEM, a licensed audiologist will make impressions of your ear canals. Unlike basic, inexpensive earbuds, IEMs come in a range of driver types, including dynamic, balanced armature, planar magnetic, and electrostatic, giving you a range of sound options, from fun to musical to bassy to reference. And IEMs are fully portable, so you can use them at home, at the office, or on the go. Here are a couple of options for a warm and musical sound. The Empire Ears Bravado Mark II and the Meze Rai Penta. The Rai Penta is a universal model, while the Bravado is available as a universal or a custom. If you prefer a more detailed and resolute sound, check out the QDC Anol VX or the JH Audio Layla Ion. These are both universal IEMs. Tip number three, pay attention to aesthetics. If your partner says, those headphones don't suit you, or those things are hideous, Consider getting a new partner. J just kidding, just kidding. But you can take style and color of your headphones into consideration for your next headphone purchase. Now, audiophile headphones come in a range of colors and styles, ranging from more utilitarian and understated to glamorous and even quirky. Now, you're not going to be choosing your headphones based on looks alone. Build quality and sound are much bigger considerations. But looks are something to consider, especially if your partner is going to be seeing you in your headphones on a regular basis. As with fashion choices and hairstyles, we tend to make these choices at least in part with our significant other's tastes and preferences in mind. So there are several things to consider when it comes to the look of your headphones, such as color, materials, accents, ear cup size, and shape. The truth is, headphones can be seen as an accessory, just like sunglasses or sneakers. What suits one person may not be another person's best look. Fortunately, there are many options when it comes to choosing the headphones that speak to you and your partner's aesthetic preferences. For example, the Aeon 2 from Dan Clark Audio has these gorgeous, glossy, deep red cups, while the Focal Celesti shows off this gorgeous navy with copper accents. If you prefer all black, take a look at something like the Dan Clark Stealth, which save for the red stitching on the headband, sports a monochromatic black look. And some headphones like the Stealth or the Ion 2 or the Meze Elite, instead of having traditional round ear cups, they have alternate ear cup shapes. Now, if you like wood accents on your headphones, you could take a look at something like the 99 Classics from Meze. Tip number four. If your spouse doesn't want a lot of gear in your living space, consider portable components or a one box solution for headphone playback. Now, assuming that your headphones are easy to drive, meaning that your phone could handle the power requirements, then technically that's all you need. However, you'll want to maximize sound quality by using a good DAC headphone amp or music player. That being said, your partner might not want to have to look at bulky audio gear all the time, as absolutely stunning as it might be, or space may be at a premium in your living quarters. If that is the case, you may consider using a portable headphone amp DAC or DAP digital audio player instead of desktop or full-size components. Fortunately, there are many high-performance, low-profile options available. And even if you don't plan to use these items on the go, they will help maintain a lower profile in your living space. And here's a bonus if you decide to use a DAP or digital audio player for your headphone listening. Many have a Bluetooth input. So if you have a TV with a Bluetooth output, you can use your DAP to watch TV via your headphones. This way you can be in the same room with your partner while they read and you watch TV. 
Another great option is a one box solution for headphone listening, such as the Name Unity Atom Headphone Edition. This petite music streaming system incorporates a DAC, streamer, headphone amplifier, and preamplifier. It's designed to be the ultimate solo listening source. You don't need a separate computer or streaming source. This will save your partner from having to stare at piles of audio gear should you be inclined to have such a pile in your living space. For a portable DAC headphone amp option, you could go with the excellent Cord Hugo 2. Pair it with the Cord to go for wireless music streaming. For something with a tiny footprint, the Claris Coda is a petite USB DAC headphone amp that you can plug right into your phone, tablet, or laptop. When it comes to portable DAPs or digital audio players, we've got tons of great options. If you want portability and music storage, but want to get your phone out of the equation, these are great options. Here we've got the Sony ZX507. Supported by Android with Wi-Fi for downloading and streaming, it's got 64 gigs of memory plus an SD card slot, and it'll give you up to 20 hours of battery life. Tip number five, take a look at wireless headphones. Maybe your partner wants more help around the house and doesn't want you tethered to any device while you listen to music. Wireless headphones or earbuds will keep your hands totally free. Now, audiophiles have traditionally preferred wired connections because there is no loss in data. Audio cables allow for data to be transferred without any loss or degradation from the source. Today's wireless headphones and earbuds offer audio quality that we didn't previously dream possible. Imagine the convenience of throwing on a pair of headphones or earbuds with no pesky cable to get in the way while you manage household chores or tend to a fussy toddler. You can leave your phone or portable audio player on the table, safe and dry, while you happily wash the dishes and listen to music. Wireless headphones that run via Bluetooth have a range of 30 feet or more. Going wireless eliminates the visual of cables and wires, should that be a bone of contention in your relationship. So for a true audiophile grade wireless headphone, check out the Ananda BT. It's the wireless version of Hi-Fi Man's Ananda Planar Magnetic Headphone. Now we've got the wired version here, which is why you're not seeing the microphone. You get way more than you'd expect from a wireless headphone here in terms of fidelity and soundstage. Now for a wireless earbud option, we've got the Sony WF-1000XM4. You want the sound of a full-size headphone in a tiny wireless earpiece? This is it. We've really just grazed the surface here in terms of what's available to meet your and your partner's at-home headphone listening needs. If you have any questions on anything we've covered in this video, drop a comment below. Plus, we've linked a few resources below to further assist you on your headphone buying journey. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out when we post new videos. Thanks so much for watching.